Welcome to Alistair Knox Satanic Audio Blog. I actually received an email not too long ago uh, asking what are some fatal mistakes, what are the worst mistakes a Satanist can make, and how can you avoid those mistakes? As you know, in our day and age, uh, with social media and the ability for things to uh, go viral all over the world, a person can say or do something that really will embarrass them for years and years. I started with uh, with a few ideas. I narrowed it down to 12 fatal mistakes, and these are, are my opinion, of course. However, I knew that uh, most people get tired after you know, five or six uh, bullet points. People are going to sleep and thinking about fucking and whatever else they're thinking about. And, and so you lose the audience. So I nailed it down to five topics, five uh, points. So uh, everyone can uh, maybe take something away. So here are the five. Let's start with number five, changing the entire world. We've seen these people, they come and go, they go from uh, belief to belief, they go from topic to topic, and uh, they even go from religion to religion, and they get really pumped up and fired up, and they want to change the world, and they want to change everyone around them, and it is quite annoying, and uh, quite honestly, it's a, a pain in the ass to be around these people, because they they do get so um, uh, pumped up to do something and be part of a cause that it really it's it's just unbearable to be around them. So these searchers they will they'll do one of two things: either they will run like hell and uh, you know. Uh, just make everyone around them miserable. Or they'll feel like they're reborn and they're alive and, and perhaps for the first time in their life, they feel like that they're actually part of something. And so this kind of feeds into the fight or flight. The first topic being the person who just flies. They, they want to get away. They don't, they don't care about anything. It's just too much for them to wrap their mind around. So they uh, they just run. And then the, uh, the second person is the one who does the uh, fight uh, type response. So you've got the fight or flight. The ones who will just irritate the living shit out of a person. And they want everyone around them to change to their belief and their ideology. Just... Just simply because they woke up today and they feel like that they are a Satanist, they believe that everyone around them should be a Satanist. And while that is, is fine in theory, and, you know, obviously a person should get excited about what they believe, it is a, it's a pain for everyone around them because uh, just like the... The uh, new Christian who has just found uh, Jesus, everything around them and everyone around them should automatically mold to their ideas. And it is a huge pain. It drives everyone crazy. It's, it's almost the anarchist without a cause. So that's number five. Number four, stupidity. Okay, now there is a true difference between stupidity and ignorance. Okay, there's a difference. And so if, you, uh, if you're new to something and, and recently exposed to certain subject matter, you're going to have to learn something about it before... You can intelligently communicate and exchange ideas in that subject. 
And so those people who are learning, okay, they may be ignorant, but they are trying to learn something is is different than stupidity. Stupidity is you should have known better. You should act accordingly. Using uh, unaccepted uh, things and and reasons and doing certain things that are socially unacceptable and uh, are are recognized by a group as being unacceptable behavior. We see it all the time on blog sites when uh, people begin discussing things and taking positions on topics of which they have no knowledge. And, um, you know, some websites are brutally honest, and that's fine. And then some sites will just uh, attack. It's almost the blood in the water response that a shark has when a person identifies themselves as not knowing what they're talking about or not being a subject matter expert on a topic that they have opened discussion on. If you're going to talk about a subject, that's fine. And if you're going to ask questions about a subject, that's fine as well. But also know who the audience is. And don't put yourself in a position where people are going to attack you. If you see that you're in a forum that is hostile and they uh, are maybe cliquish and they're not going to accept any thought outside of their own, why expose yourself to that needlessly? The third fatal mistake, overinflated ego. Satanism teaches self is important, the self is the most important person, and the most important thing, being, on the face of the earth. And, uh, and, and that's fine. A person should have ego. They should have a love of themselves. You can still be a Satanist and not be a asshole. There is a difference. These are the obnoxious, annoying people that we would all like to strangle quite honestly. So the overinflated ego is really, it's, it's a double prong pain in everyone's ass. The people around this person have to endure this person. And usually the double inflated ego, if it remains unchecked, will ultimately lead to this person being very much dressed down, whether it's verbally or, uh, or in the back alley with a, a baseball bat. Either way, these people are usually taught a very valuable lesson that they can learn from if they survive the lesson itself. Fatal mistake number two, exceeding limitations. Okay, if you buy a new motorcycle, maybe you should drive that thing slow for the first little bit. Maybe you should not go out when the weather is bad, etc., etc. You don't exceed your limitations, and knowing your limitations is the first part of that. That's one thing that uh, new Satanists often do. They feel this new power, this new feeling of empowerment. And so they begin practicing rituals and, and doing certain satanic workings. And before long, they have exceeded their knowledge level and their competency level. And this can really... This can go bad really, really quick, really quick. So use a little thought. And then my number one fatal mistake, in my opinion, omitting Satan from Satanism. There are so many atheists out there who claim to be Satanists. They're not Satanists. 
They like the name Satan. They like the term Satanism. And they like to be identified as such because they feel power in the word. And there is power in the word Satan. It it is filled with power. But you also have to go back to fatal mistake number two. Okay? Know where your limitations are. And for so many atheists that go through these rituals, and to them it's just an, an empty play. But I believe you and I both know as practicing Satanists that these are not empty rituals. They have substance. The cause and effect happens whether you know it happens or not. Being able to control that satanic power and energy is the ultimate responsibility of the person who is using it. I caution people. I caution the atheist. I was reading on uh, on a website not too long ago. There was a, a person who was an atheist, and he had actually been a, quote, practicing Satanist. And he had discovered fairly quickly through a couple rituals that he had performed some some very bad things happened to him as a result. And uh, this website was very informative, and he was very honest and brave by admitting you don't do some of these things. You don't call upon Satan or or any of the, the other demons without knowing what you're doing, and you certainly don't do that. Anyway, these are my five top five ideas, and and they're my opinion as well. You don't have to agree with them. As a matter of fact, I would like to hear from you. You can drop me an email at alistairnocked at rocketmail.com, or you can go to my website, satanicmagic.org, and uh, and you can leave me uh, a post or uh, reply to one of the posts or drop me an email as well or on any of the other social media. I would like to know what you think about it. Also, one last thing before I close. Go over to our new Satanic Forum, and if you haven't signed up, do so now. It's uh, Alistair Knocked dot proboards dot net until next time this has been Alistair Knocked praise Satan and satanic blessings for you and yours <laughs> <laughs>